Greetings friends, it's Woe Daddy back here with a very, very special pop culture announcement. We are going to be making a famous female celebrity tonight here and we're going to add full color and get a really dynamic pose going so I think you're really going to enjoy it. This idea came to me from teaching summer school. And if you don't know summer school, summer school is awesome. It's an opportunity to learn during the summer, to be with your friends, do physical activities, arts and crafts, have a little bit of fun, a little bit of freedom, and meet cool teachers like myself and others. So, yesterday we had a little mid-project snafu where our projector went out. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make these kids some cartoons of their favorite, favorite people and they can draw along with me. And one that was so, so popular and came out so good. I practiced all day with these girls and they loved it. Let's check it out first. Have the lovely Ariana Grande. And she is looking absolutely fabulous. This is one of her poses for a recent photo shoot. And um, so we're going to talk about how to make this from start to finish. I'm going to make it really easy for you and break it down. And you're going to look at it and say, how am I going to make that? And you are going to do it. So let's get into the creation station and check it out. All right, we are back at it in the creation station. Now for our picture, we're gonna start in the upper portion with our nose kind of coming across. And oh yeah, Grande, she's gonna have a really kind of nice, neat nose with kind of a straight curve kind of coming down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of just pick a nostril up and we're just gonna do one. Okay, now um, we're gonna have a very intense curve on the eyes that's gonna kind of start down and go up and then we're gonna do the suggestion of lashes. Now we're gonna leave a little bit of space and we're gonna do a similar idea over here and we're gonna go lash, lash, and uh, I'm gonna throw a third one like right up in there. All right, so um, on the left eye, we're gonna do a nice kind of round, um, sort of on the right side, and then we're gonna have on the right side of our right eye. So we got like that kind of like Mona Lisa look. All right, then we're gonna get into our eyebrows, which are gonna be shaped, and then they're gonna curve down, and we're gonna make them crisp. Now, if you don't, quite like the shape, maybe you want it a little bit bigger, you just go over it. And get that little color right in there. All right, and then on the opposite side, we're gonna start up and go up like this and back down. All right, now, I'm gonna go ahead and work down to her lips, which we're gonna start um, not too wide, but a nice smile and kind of puffy. All right, and so we're gonna make the bottom nice and big. We're gonna make the top nice and big too. Kind of right like that, okay. And our hair is gonna kind of start right over here. And we have this curve coming up. Now, this curve is gonna come to a point right about here. And it's going to go up into a headband. So we'll get to the headband in a minute. What I want to do is kind of draw the face in right here. So we're going to go down, extend the cheek, and then come right along the edge of the mouth. And we're going to come up and then turn like that. Now what we're going to do over here is we're going to make an ear right across. And we're going to start like that. But she has this flower earring so we're going to make about six radiating petals five six like that and then a nice center and then we can kind of just continue the ear as if it were there all right so right behind the ear we're going to do a headband and it's going to go right up above where that hairline started and it's going to get thick and then just a little bit thinner down at the bottom, and we can kind of tie our hair in. All right, now, I'm gonna go ahead and do 
one, two lines. Maybe you could put a third thin one, just like that. All right, now, at the kind of bottom of the headband, we're gonna go ahead and bring this curve of hair right along the curve of her face. And it's gonna go all the way to the edge of our paper and tie into the back of it. Now from here, we're gonna make some just straight kind of line sort of coming down. And it's okay if you just kind of stop or if you just kind of open it up a little bit. All right, so we got that hair curving this way. We have the hair curving to the left, all the way around. And now we're gonna go kind of like fire. One, two, curve the other direction. Have one kind of curving in like a claw. Curve away again. And then we're gonna have one more and it's gonna start to make the shape of her shoulders going to end up right in there. So her shoulders is going to kind of come down like she's sort of leaning back. All right. And then we're going to make a arm come out right about here, a little breast line like that. Okay. So we're going to have our arm is going to be coming out. So you could kind of start right here. And that's where her arm ties in. And then it's going to come down a little bit. And so her other arm is going to tie in right about here. And we're going to have an elbow sticking out. Okay. And then we're going to have that body kind of turning in. And I know, we're just going to like turn into like a genie in a lamp. All right. Um, so it's kind of fading off at the bottom. All right, we're gonna have her line of her shirt is gonna go like that. And then kind of curve down. Okay, so we're making it a cartoon, so we're making it like a little extra skinny down at the bottom. All right, you can like make that a different, slightly different shape if you want. But it's like the bottom of our picture, it's probably gonna get cropped out. Um, we're going to make an arm coming up and we'll tie that in and give it like a little sleeve. So we're going to start with a thumb and it's going to kind of go open into our pinky finger. Now, that's going to tie in the bottom of the hand. Beyond that pinky finger is the next ring finger, extended an index finger, and then a pointer finger coming up. Now, I'm just gonna kinda add a nail onto each one of those, like that. All right, so we got some little cartoon details going on in there. And what we're gonna do is add some line to the hair. All right, just like so. Um, just put a little couple lines, kind of suggest a little hair in the back and a little chin. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go ahead and do a little bit of color blending. And so if we look really close here, I have a little pink that I'm gonna use in her mouth, and a little brown, and uh, a little tan, and a little yellow, and I have a dark green and a light green. So you can honestly use whatever colors you want. These are the colors that I'm gonna use. All right, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the face and I'm gonna get a little dark color right in here, and it's gonna be right along kind of her cheek, and then a little bit along her back, and right down here. Now, what we're gonna do on the inside, right, we're gonna start with the hand, and 
get a little skin color for the back um, a portion of her body a little skin color same thing right here now remember when I'm coloring I'm not filling in all the way because we're going to do a smudging technique but I am trying to follow the shape of the face that's really important all right so follow the shape of the face have a little fun with it all right now what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of start blending just a little bit and then it goes down here so you can see the uh dark color in the back kind of just creates a little essence of shadow here it's more like darker blush makeup you know that you might put on your cheek which you know kind of suggests the shadow so it gives that effect as makeup um which is what was sort of intended a little bit above the hair we'll work our way around the ears all right so you have that kind of blended in nicely and you could do that more or less as you choose all right in the lip it's kind of like a faded pink so i'm going to put paint and then i'm going to put skin color okay and i'm going to blend that you get this nice kind of faded pink. So hmm, maybe I could be a makeup artist, who knows? All right, this portion of the hair is pretty much darker. Now with the hair, I'm trying to carefully go back and forth. I'm not gonna do much color blending because I want the texture of the hair to look different than the texture of the body. So we're gonna have more blonde kind of in the lower sections of her hair little shine down here so just kind of like inconsistently filling it with blonde and then we're gonna go and kind of do our touching up filling in with the brown and then going over the blonde lightly with it so that the blonde still shows through you see what I'm going for there so in some portions it's darker and in some portions it's blended. And so you've got that kind of blonde shine coming through the brown. Still following the direction of the hair, trying to keep it natural. And I'm trying to fill in most of it. That's where I might go back. Maybe I'll make it like a little bit darker on the edge, but just sort of filling in most of it. So we get that effect. And uh, oh yeah, black here. I'm gonna go ahead and do Sharpie for that. All right, Boop. made it a little big, make it a little bigger. That's fine, It'll be a large accessory. Okay, that filled in nicely. Uh, I'm gonna do a little touch of tan right there, a little blend. Okay, now, center of our ear, a little dark green, and then um, a little dark green along kind of like the uh, elastic band Got the little elastic band right there all right and now we're gonna go light green and i'm just gonna kind of carefully color in for this one so it looks shiny like a piece of jewelry so that's the cool thing about the versatility of the pastels you can press lightly here i'm pressing firmly to get a shiny effect here i want it to look like a shirt like fabric so instead of using the top i'm using the side of it so right now i've done using the top roughly using the side of it to really fill in using our finger to color blend so you can see how versatile these pastels are now, i like that because that has that little look of like a um piece of clothing and now for our name Ari, A R I A N A, Grande, Brown, however you want to say it. And I'll get my signature right down here at the bottom. All right. And there you have it our lovely Ariana Grande 
I told you if you follow along and you just sort of look at what you're doing and try to put the pieces together and practice, 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 you will end up with an amazing work of art. Hope you all have a fabulous day. Send your suggestions in the comments and I can't wait to see what we're gonna draw next.